Hello my friends, how are you doing? People call me Jamie, but you can call me Hanitos right now. I have uh, things to do, but I, ha I have some time to speak you a little things, because we're gonna start Super Mario 3D. But before this, I just wanted to do something different. I'm gonna pick up three important, um, three important news of uh, something of interest that's going on in the, in the movie world and talk about it. Okay, first, yeah, F first this one. Yes, this movie. They finally did it. They finally start filming Batman vs Superman. And guess what? The title is simply called as Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. What do I think? I, I really believe that uh, they have a very good start because uh, if you remember my friends, um, the producers of uh, Warner Brothers just said that this movie is gonna be the, the prequel. Yeah, some kind of prequel of uh, Justice League. So if you think about it, when you put Batman and Superman together and a title like um, Dawn of Justice, I consider it's very appropriate. Especially if we, um, if we keep in mind that Ben Affleck um, is in the role of Batman. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. We usually have uh, him as the infamous movie of Daredevil, but come on, let's face it. Because of movies like Argo, uh, the town and and right now Gone Girl by David Fisher. I think we can actually give Ben Affleck the, the benefit of the doubt. He learned from his mistakes because um, he broke up with us with that freaking bitch called uh, Jay Lopez. And uh, I'm looking forward to see Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice. Now let's go with Super Noir 3D. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, Noah. Ah, come on. I see. Yes. All right. Ah, uh, well. Ah, uh, yes. We are in another chapter of Super Noir 3D, and this time we have to face a kangaroo. A kangaroo, as you can see, my friends. What? Why am I so upset? This. Because of this level. As you already know, we are in the fourth part. Yeah. I don't know if you guys notice that we are in the fourth level uh, i mean the fourth part of this game and let me tell you something this level 4.1 is incredibly and horrendously annoying especially because of this little friend that you're about to see you want to find out here here you can see it let's watch it again yeah isn't this cute? I mean, it's just a simple, the, I guess one of the rejected creatures of the, of the movie Monsters University. <laughs> alright, alright, I admit it, I went too far and I want to apologize my friends, but you have to believe me that this level is a pain in your neck. Okay, just watch, just watch. Oh yeah, and before I, I go any further, these uh, monstrosities of alien buffaloes, whatever they are, will take at least 5 seconds to kill and if you are careless they might be able to take at least 20 or 10% of your energy in one shot yep on top of that uh, I mean aside from that what the hell is this room anyway like yes seriously is this some kind of prison and some kind of jail for all the animals uh, why is it this dirty why is it this gray why it has so many long steps like I don't understand. Seriously, what was Noah thinking? Ah, yep, this convinced me. This absolutely convinced me. If this is how in the Bible Noah decided to construct his ark, then it's no surprise then why he decided just to <clears throat> face the animals. I mean, if this is um, how Noah construct the art, then it's no surprise of why all the animals um, oppose him. No, 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 no. Let me let me put it like this: the two, the two of each species of this um, of this ark decides to prefer to jump to the water rather than just um, risk to um, to go this massive labyrinth. Heck, seriously, I'm. I bet you everything that the, the labyrinth that was constructed by um, Daedalus on the God of War 3 is not as um, infuriating as this little big mess of base architecture. Heck, believe me, if you want to, uh, believe me, 
if this this isn't even this isn't even fun this is just really boring if you want to see this architecture that is gonna um, make you entertain go and see them the the Easter Earth Temple from Avatar The Last Airbender. Believe me, that construction is incredibly much better than this. And also, on top of that, why why do I have this upbeat music? In my opinion, I believe that um, despite, um, <clears throat> despite the, the plot of the game, I think a much better, a much better soundtrack can be put as a background music. So, just because you asked for it and also because I believe it's convenient, I will show you my friends the soundtrack of, listen to this, The Dark Samus of Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Enjoy my friends, please enjoy. Yes, yes, viewer, yes, suffer, suffer with the song, suffer it, and let me feel my guilty pleasure with Kurumi. <laughs> No, but seriously, this is getting um, too long. It's taking too much time and uh, the video is already that long. So I'm just gonna do your favor because I love you, my friends, and I'm just gonna speed forward. Enjoy. All right, now I just want to make a pause um, in the um, in, in the last place so I can actually speak about the second mm, news that you might be interested. Star Wars: The Episode Seven finally start filming, and I am so excited. I was really looking forward to see this movie because um, when I saw that J.J. Abrams, the genius between uh, Mission Impossible Five, Super Eight, Star Trek, and Star Trek Into Darkness, and all of these series that we already know. I was so excited, I really want to look forward to see what kind of surprises can um, give us J.J. Abrams to a Star Wars episode, episode 7. And um, having this said, I just wanted to say that um, what kind of role can um, Adam Driver do? Maybe he's gonna be the, the son of Han Solo, our Princess Leia, Jan, you know, Jan Jansen, Jansen Solo. We have to, we have to wait. And forgive me, the reason of why I'm saying this is because recently Lucasfilms um, sent uh, a news in which they declared the expanded universe of uh, Star Wars as non-canon, which in my opinion is incredibly disappointing because uh, 
there were so many great stories regarding the expanded universe. Like for example, the Troll uh, Tron trilogy. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. And um, the Yu Swan Young War, in which they have this nanotechnology, which yeah, maybe they are not in the TVs or in the movies, but they, I think they were pretty good stories. My, my only my only hope is that uh, maybe Adam Driver will be the uh, the card of Jansen Solo. I'm saying this because the part in which he becomes what he what he becomes is very very awesome. I really like the story, and I'm really looking forward to maybe see something like that in the episode seven. I'm saying this because maybe the um, the title would be the Ancient Fear. Like I said, all we have to do or all we can to do is just wait patiently, will. Patiently wait. I'll try. Okay, let's go forward. Back to the video. I mean, back to the game. Yeah, my friend, sadly, it's gonna take the same problem here. It's gonna be a long level and a really boring soundtrack. I think it's time for a new section of my code, which I call all. Go 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 Edición Mundial. It's very simple. Every time I see there is a really boring section of any single game, not only in Super Noir 3D of any single video game, I just put um, some images, some random images to entertain my audiences, just like I did with the last video. So here is all the posters of the World Cup, since um, in less than one week the World Cup in Brazil is gonna kick off. Enjoy my friends! Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy Cosas Interesantes? I hope that you did my friends, because by the time it finished you might notice one problem. It doesn't take all the boredom of the rest of the level. Yeah, I understand that. I completely understand that. So you know, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna put exactly one minute, like one minute of this um, of this next level and then I'm gonna move forward. Yeah, because um, I have... I'm getting impatient. Maybe you're impatient. So because I care of you, I'm gonna do that. Please um, enjoy my friends.
Okay, that was really scary. I, I'm so scared. Oh no, I wear my pants just, just because she asked for it. Just because you asked for it. I will please all the audience and fast forward the video. But please, don't do this again. And then you can enjoy the news. Please enjoy. <laughs> Again, being a super normal 3D. Like I said, uh, the game is turned very boring and very repetitive, but it's worth, still worth it to play it. Now I'm gonna end up with the news that um, I think that took everyone, especially the Marvel fans, with surprise, and that's this one. You got, you know this guy? His name is uh, Edgar Wright. Well, he hasn't eaten any presentation, of course. But I read in the news that he abruptly quit to the direction of Ant-Man. The next. Um, cinematic Marvel, uh, Marvel Universe project and for me I have to be honest a part of me is really disappointed because of this news because of the same reason I spoke about with JJ Abrams and Star Wars or the expanded universe they have a particular vision a particular idea that I thought that they would give give more interest to the expanded universe in field of Marvel but on the other hand I understand um, Edgar Wright because he was having so much pressure regarding the, the direction or the style of Ant-Man. So, so I support you, Mr. Wright, for that decision. And especially, I, I want to say this because uh, someone said in a forum, um, this is the, the image, I'm going to translate it, they say, good job, Marvel, because Edgar Wright was working almost eight years, eight years in the project of Ant-Man, and now this happened to, to him. He brutally quits. Just like Guillermo del Toro with The Hobbit. Well, that's another story. And they say that um, it's all the fault of Marvel. I, for being honest, I don't think it's Marvel's fault. Mm, and of course it's not uh, Mr. Edgar Wright's fault. It's Disney's fault. And for a good reason. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I love Lion King. And I love Frozen. But let's face it. Disney was the idiots who made this piece of rubbish, who, who, who made this trash, who they actually ruined, despite the um, amazing Spider-Man franchise, I mean the, the reboot one, they actually took every good part, like every good element I mean, of the of the animated series of Spider-Man and just throw it to the rubbish with this sick bomb. I really hate this series and I really hope that it's cancelled very soon despite that third season. So yeah. And of course, because uh, Marvel would be that stupid just to, uh, after the, the success of Captain America, the Winter Soldier, or Iron Man 3, just to take everything and go into the rubbish. I think it's just, just dumb. And Marvel would not do that ever. So I'm not surprised that it was um, uh, uh, Disney who do this. Especially if we keep in mind that because of this piece of shit. Oh, sorry about my language. But it's just. Ah, anyway. Anyway. Back to the point, I really believe that um, this was a big mistake from Disney. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Unmanned or ha Hank Pin or whatever you want to call him beat up his wife, but he doesn't deserve this. What he did with uh, was was wrong, but he doesn't even deserve this. All I can say is, Disney, good luck with Ant-Man, because you guys are gonna need it. You're really gonna need it. Imbeciles. The rest of you, my friends, I love you and I hope that you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy to make it. I love you all and I send you kisses. Thank you very much.
news is that we have to wait until the 